At the beginning of the war with Japan, northern China fell into the enemy's hands. The Japanese proved to be harsh and tyrannical rulers, and they were hated by our people. New laws for public peace and order were brought in, and the Japanese used these as an excuse to oppress us even more. Hey, where did you get this? you're on the back? Uh, no, not yet. What do you want him for? Nothing much. I'm afraid that he might be in trouble. He spent so much time away. No need to worry. He can look after himself. <laughs> I hope so. That kid's a tough little fighter. some manners. <sighs> oh, Lao. Remember, don't tell Tung Hai Chuan. Master 
Get your fuck out! Yeah. Get him! Yeah. Go! Go! Uh, 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 sings very well. Why don't you sing the song Manchu Girls for all of us? Huh? Uh, I'm sorry. I don't know Japanese songs. Yeah, no. Then sing 18 Touches. But you can leave her. Uh, I've come here to check your books. Get them out now. Yes, yes. Get away. Oh. Uh, sing. I'm sorry. I can't. Can't you? Good. I'll teach you then. <laughs> well, first of all, I touch your face. It's really very fair. Your skin looks so pale, it's so soft to touch. Secondly, I touch your body, you've got a lovely shape. You curve in all the right places, I'd really love to hold you. Thirdly, now I touch your breast, I feel it in my hand. You just behave yourself. Oh, baby. Uh. 
You're angry, huh? <laughs> Excuse her, Mr. Chin. She's just a child, then, please. Yeah, I'll shove off. <laughs> Hey, you stay here with me, huh? We haven't finished the song yet. <laughs> hey, don't go away. Mr. Chin, sir, here's the books. Damn you! Get out! Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And you. Huh? I mean you. Huh? Me? I didn't do anything. You'll do whatever I tell you. You don't know who you're talking to. This time, you've gone too far. I'll leave when I'm good and ready. Mm. That's fine. We'll soon see about that. Why did you have to go and upset that poor girl? She was only... I think that you're a girl. You're not a man at all. Huh. You apologize. I said you're a girl. What are you going to do about it then, huh? Hmm? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, that's all right. Uh, Hai Chuan, you hit Chin Tai Hai, you'll be in trouble. Don't worry. I can handle him. Ah, uh, we all hate him. Chin Tai Hai crawls to the Japanese. He can do anything he wants to around here. All these damn traitors, they should be wiped out. Uh, the best thing for you to do would be to hide for a while. All right. Yeah. He's quite right. Come with us. Right. Miss Liao. The scarecrows, why do you keep looking at them all the time? Is there some special meaning? Mm. Mr. Tong, we've been wanting to meet you for a very long time. Oh? oh. It's quite a coincidence, meeting you today like this. Thank you for your help. <laughs> it's nothing. We've heard so much about you, how good you are to others, and generous too. You're very respected in this part of China now, you know. <laughs> Miss Liao, your words are very kind, but the scarecrows... <sighs> Let me put it this way. I live near the salt fields. That's where you got that illegal salt. Hmm? Just how do you know it's salt? Be calm. I'm not going to report you. <laughs> <laughs> Let's walk on. Right. Here. Yeah. I'll do it. I was trained and educated in the South. I'm back for a reason. I have a special mission. Huh? I might need you later on. Anytime. You can always call on me. I'll do my best to help. Oh, thank you. Actually, your cover will be quite enough. Ah, I'll do my best. There's two things we must do. We have to spy on the Japanese and let the South know. 
Also, we must round up our people and prepare them. We're planning a really big attack. Oh. Scarecrows are used as a signal to make contact. Hmm. A great admiration for you and your father. Father? <laughs> He's not, you know. He's not related to me. What? We all work towards the same purpose. And as a matter of fact, Miss Liao here is our superior. <laughs> but you look rather old for this kind of thing. <laughs> uh, you'll be surprised. You're probably older than I am. Huh? <laughs> Let's go. Uh -huh. Don't panic. Hey, where's your pass? Hey! Pretty girl, come over here. Hey, you're very cute. <laughs> hey, boys, let him go. Sure, here, here you are. Go now. Isn't it just a small world, then? Both of you together, huh? Now that you're here, you'll save me a lot of trouble. <laughs> John! Right, get yeah. it, get it, get it! Uh, hey, 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 you come here. Census. There's only me here. There's no need to. <laughs> you look so pretty. 
And so lonely, so am I. <laughs> That's good friendly. You shut up. If you've come here to tell me something, say it fast and then get out. You better be nice to me. Remember that the Japs shot and killed your husband, huh? I could do quite a lot for you. In fact, I can stop them from locking you up in here. <laughs> you liar. Expect me to believe you'd do something decent? Hey, what have I ever done that makes you disbelieve? <laughs> I really can't stand you. That's all. You can't compare with me. I'm smart. Good-looking as well. Intelligent. <laughs> and I'm the best fighter around here. Ooh, and you're the son of a double-crosser. Your father's a traitor. Pig! Hey, Shay. Be careful what you say. You'll make me very mad. Shut your mouth. You stop it. <laughs> Together, we could have a good time. Have a good time with your mother! Leave my mother out of this! You're a traitor. Well, you care about your mother. Shut up, you I'll say what I want. You hit me, I'll kill you! <laughs> You'll be sorry. Wait till I'm finished with you. This will be one lesson you'll never forget. <laughs> Brother, you come back. Yeah. Blood brother, Chao San Ming. This is Miss Liao. Oh, hi, Miss Liao. This here is Li Ping, her friend. This is Brother Li, Chang Song Ming here. Hello, sir. Yeah. <laughs> I tell you what we'll do. Uh, uh, why don't we go inside? Here, please. Please. Come on in here. Sit down, please. Please. Tell them to take special care of the parcels on the cart. And tell them in the kitchen that we want some food. Oh, I'll do that now. Uh, Mr. Chung, you're much too kind. No, we didn't need that much on the way. We'll have a drink tonight. Sam Ming. Yeah? What's been happening out here? The Japs have been strengthening their forces again. Life's getting harder and harder. Wu Chang Yun is causing more trouble. Yesterday he hurt Xiao Lung. Xiao Lung? Is he hurt? He's not badly hurt. He'll be all right. But he must rest. Mm -hmm. Brother Wu has gone too far now. Oh, he has. Poor Hei Chu hung herself yesterday. Huh? What for? Apparently, Wu went to her house, about 12. Last night, she was dead. So, everyone's very suspicious of him now. Hei Chu, he couldn't stand him. He knew it, too. He's had his eye on her for ages. I thought something like this might happen. What's the matter? Oh, Sun Ming. You tell Miss Liao about the situation here. I'll go and prepare the rooms for you. And I'll go and see Xiao Lung. Uh, uh, are you sure it's no trouble? Uh, no, no, not at all. Uh -huh. Dad? Mm. What's wrong? What happened yesterday? Nothing, Dad. Tell me, did you bully Hei Chui? Hey? It's not my fault she hung herself. Oh. But you were at her house. Just for the census. She kept calling me a traitor. We had a quarrel. 
She tried to kill me. Using what? This gun. Oh. Where's this from? Her husband was in the gorillas. Oh. Don't you think these conspirators should be killed? We have to be very careful. Sit down. I must talk to you. Oh. A whole Jap troop was wiped out, high up in the western hills. A guard post at San Yun was also attacked. I'm sure there must be expert fighters among the guerrillas there. The people around here have been practicing martial arts. Dad, if they join together, it could make things difficult for the Japanese and us. That could be dreadful. Mm. We must think of some way. Auntie. Hi, Chuan. Glad you're here. Sit down. Thanks. Take this. It's for Thanks you. Thanks a lot. Oh, you're much too kind to us. You don't need to do that. Uh, it's not much. Shu Shannon? Yes. Shu Chuan. Hi, Chun is here. Hi, Chun. Shushan, Auntie, I want to take Shushan out. Fine, fine. Hi, Chuan. Back, Hai Chuan. Huh, how are you? I'm still very busy. Serving the public, not easy. I'm running up my feet. Brother, don't strain yourself. I... Ah, enough. Forget about that. Or we'll end up in a fight. Okay. Have you set a date for the wedding yet? <laughs> not yet. It'll be sometime after autumn. Oh, don't forget to invite me to it, huh? Of course I'll invite you. Hmm. That's good. You two go along. I have to leave. See you then. Hey. Oh, hi, John. I suppose old Lao's told you about me and Xiaolong, eh? He deserved a lesson. Oh? You're not mad then? <laughs> I'm not mad at all. <laughs> I feel that you're too kind to him. I'm sure he'd never do anything for you. I know that. We both studied under the same teacher. He's older than me. It's just that he seems to be against you. He thinks you're scared of him. Let him think it. In fact, I'm not scared. I'm patient. Let's go back. Good. What do you want? Nothing much. Where are you going? Why'd you ask? Huh? <laughs> I'm Wu Chung Yun. Heard of me? Oh, you're the son of the village chief. Huh. So you see, I can ask. Huh? Uh, my father and I board with Tung Hai Chun. Oh? Tung Hai Chun? Yes. Why don't you report to headquarters? Oh. Uh, sorry. I don't know the rules. All right for you. Tung Hai Chun, though, should know. 
I think I'll charge him with harboring criminals. Uh, me a criminal? Huh? How should I know? Criminals don't go around advertising it. Unless <laughs> you let me search you. Keep away. Uh, <laughs> well, then, you search me. <laughs> Bastard. If you come any closer, I'll hit you. Uh, let's see you have a go. Mm. Let me teach you a lesson. Oh? <laughs> Wanna play games, huh? <laughs> oh, <laughs> A pretty rose with spiky thorns, too. This could be quite fun. Watch out! Be so smart, or I'll give you something to remember. Good. I like some excitement. Hey. <laughs> Brother. I'll introduce you. This is Miss Liao, who's a guest in my house. This is my blood brother. Hi, Chuan. Although we are good friends, the rules must be observed. Please report her to the headquarters. Hmm. I'll do as you say. Good. Come. Brother. Are you badly hurt? It's nothing. Brother. Hmm. Will he cause more trouble? I don't think so. I'll be your guarantor. I'll introduce you. This here is Miss Liao. This is Xu Xian. Mm. Let's get back to town. Oh, you go on first. I'll follow later. Oh. Sayonara, sayonara, sayonara. Dad, what did Mu Chun want? It's about the gorillas. He wants to have a census check. Huh? Look at your face. Uh, the girl called Liao did that to me. Did she? Up to your old tricks again. Uh, the girl lives at Tung Hai Chuan's place. She hasn't yet registered. Huh? Why did you start a fight with her? Uh, she's quite attractive. Uh, I'll bet you tried to grab at her. <laughs> I didn't. I... You didn't? That's strange. I know about you and your old tricks. Uh... Uh. Okay. Tell me. What should we say to Mu Chun, eh? Tell him to bring in some more troops to strengthen their hold around here. Also, send out more spies to watch for gorillas. Uh -huh. You're very smart. I'll do as you say. You're a bright boy. Also, I suspect Tung Hai Chun's gang. Huh? But can you prove it? Not yet, but I'm working on it. Don't rush it. He's well respected here. I know that, but we'll get him before too long. Hmm.
Did you come? Just now. You're alone here? Yes. What's wrong? Oh, oh nothing's wrong. Uh, just the census. My job's not an easy one. Uh, got a match? Oh, on the table. <sighs> Brother, Mother's out now. Please come back later. Huh? What? Scared to be alone with me? I won't bite your love. That's not the point. People might talk. Oh, but you and Tung Hai Chuan meeting up in the hills then. That's all right, huh? Of course it's all right. We're getting married. Huh. <laughs> You're lucky to have all this freedom. In other places, it wouldn't be allowed. This is our business. It's not yours. Oh, yes it is. It's my job to know what's going on. Don't threaten me with your position. We haven't done anything wrong. Huh. Don't be so sure. Being seen with Tung Hai Chun is quite enough. Just be careful. Oh, Hai Chun? Hai Chun's done nothing. Huh. Just keep calm. Nothing has happened as yet. Hmm. <laughs> uh, what's this? A big bag of salt. Must be Tung Hai Chuan's present. Good. He must have some more. Hm. Brother. Xu Xian, I won't stay now. <laughs> Capture them! Yes. Kill them all! Yes. But if you fail to do it... Yes. Then we will kill you! Yeah, yes. <coughs> so, why did you keep it? For our food. What do you think? Come on, you use it to make gunpowder. I don't understand. Heh, <laughs> don't you? I bet the gorillas understand, though. Brother, we grow up together. You know what I'm like. Don't try and frame me. Ah, forget about the past. I've got a job to do. My father thought of you as his son. He treated you as he treated me. Well, if that's true, how come you're the better fighter? A proverb says, hard practice makes a good fighter. Brother, you remember what happened. You took to gambling and brothels at the age of 17. How could you be a good fighter? Shut your mouth. You've no right to judge. You're in big trouble now. I won't listen to you. Brother, listen to me. I said shut up and I meant you. Oh, oh. Oh. You want to know what I think? Wu Shen Wen and his no-good son should be got rid of as soon as possible. We'll rescue Hai Chun and hide in the hills. Quiet for now! <laughs> Lao Lao, take Xu Shen home first. 
Try to comfort her. We'll arrange things. We'll get Hai Chun out of prison. Sure. <laughs> Su Shen, don't worry. Thank you. Thank you. I've an idea. If Hai Chun were to start a big fight, we could rescue him unseen. Wu Chang Yun's always had suspicions, but he can't prove them. One thing worries me, though. What will happen if he finds out we are planning an attack? Hmm. Let's hope that doesn't occur. But surely, illegal salts, no cause for jail. They've been much too hard. We need someone respected to go and ask for pardon. Mm. I'm sure the town chief would have to give him a hearing. Mm. Hey, I know who'll do it. Chang Tai Tak. Chang Tai Tak, him? He's Wu Chun Yu's teacher and Hai Chun's friend. He's very well known here and respected. They'd have to listen to him. Go and ask him. Right. Uh, come in. Gentlemen. Teacher. Good to see you. I won't waste your time, so I'll come straight to the point. As a favor to me, let Tung Hai Chun go. You've no right to hold him here. Right, he's right. Wait a bit. Please have a seat. We'll talk about it, eh? <laughs> Please. I know. Hai Chun is extremely honest. I'm sure he's quite innocent of all your charges. <laughs> A teacher, you must admit that it looks very bad hiding salt like that. There's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Maybe he wants to eat it. <laughs> but it's not that simple, teacher. The rules of the town should not be broken. <sighs> right. I'll be his guarantor. Yes, so uh, uh, something wrong? Mm. Uh, you'll be surprised. I'll handle the whole matter. Dad, you must be crazy. Ah, uh, enough. Show some respect for once. Don't interrupt. Uh, it... That's enough. Teacher, you don't realize what you're up against. The Japanese are very tough guys. You can't frighten me up. Uh, Dad? All uh, right. Release Hachuan. Good. Let's go, then. Hi, Chun. Hi, Chun. Huh? Uncle. Mr. Chen. Mr. Lee. Uncle. Thank you. You all right? I'm all right now. Chong on. The handcuffs. Take them off him now. Dad. You don't have to worry about that. I could have done that before. So don't accuse Tung Hai Chuan of being dishonest before you have proof. Look at it. Easy to break. These stupid things. Listen carefully and pay attention. Today's lesson will be one of the most important moves in boxing. It's called the eight adjoining steps and it must be practiced every day. Shaolun. You show them. Sure. The second step, stretch your leg and kick out. The third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, the seventh, the eighth. Repeat. The first, 
the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, the seventh. <laughs> Hello, Miss Liao. Good morning. Good morning. morning. Good morning. Hello. Nice to see you. Thanks. We're learning the eight-step move. That's a good move. Uh, but I'm sure you know much more about the move than what I do. Nonsense. In Kwankar, I saw how excellent you were then. Please, miss, will you teach us something? What? <laughs> I'm no good. You are. Please teach us. You see, you better show them some steps. Oh, Miss Lau, Miss Lau. <sighs> All right. But you'd better finish the eight adjoining steps first. Then I'll show you a flash jump. All right. That's a promise, then. All right. <laughs> Stay where you are. Brother, what's the matter? Don't get alarmed. We've got to arrest all new strangers. Miss Leal's already been to register. I know she has. But uh, I think you're hiding something else. <laughs> oh, Miss Leal, when do you think you'll be leaving? When I'm called to the front. Hey, you must be careful, because this was no place for pretty girls like you. Thanks for the warning. <laughs> Search! He's a conspirator. Please, sir. Please, sir. I beg you. It's easier. Sure, sure. Hmm. All right. Tell me your plan, then. Uh, sure. As you know, sir, the people hate you. There would be a revolt against your army at any time. So then, we've worked out quite a good plan that features a tournament. Hmm. Hmm. Huh. It's true, huh? Our biggest worry is if the good fighters join in with the conspirators. So we have to get rid of them. If you're right, what do we do? Um, <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Japanese want to establish friendship with us. After all, they're very much 
the same as we are, except for a few economic, political, and military differences. So we've organized a martial arts tournament, their best warriors against ours. I'm sure both sides can learn something new from this. The competition will be on every day, and I hope there's a good attendance. Let me introduce three famous samurai to you. The first is Tin Chin Hyoko. The big hand. The second is this gentleman. This is Ting Chung Gong Nam, a judo expert. <laughs> the second is Kiyoki Shouza. He's a sumo expert. So, <laughs> give him a big hand. <laughs> now, seeing they've come such a long way, we'll let them have a rest first. Now, I feel like some practice. Anyone like to have a go with me? Let me try. Just need a little practice, sir. Fine. Defeated me, sir. You're a dirty fighter, and you're a traitor. <laughs> Your funeral is waiting for you. Go and get ready for it. <laughs> Come and join our friendly fight. You're a liar. If it's so fun, why'd you hurt him then? It sometimes happens in all the very best fights. Uh, and now it's Ting Chung Kong Nam's turn. <laughs> Damn it. My name's Ho Chi. I come to fight. Here's a new competitor. His name's Ho Chi.
First day, two men were killed, two badly wounded. The Japanese pretend they're being friendly to us. In actual fact, they're out to kill us. Hmm. It's just a plot. They want to kill all of our fighters, so we can't defend ourselves. Hmm. You are right. So then, we'd better keep away from it. Because it's not worth it. If fighters die on the stage, if our fighters kill the Japanese, they're sure to be executed. Use your influence to keep them away from the fight. That will not be easy. They are all very hot-tempered, especially in a challenge. But still, I want you to do what you can. I'll try to. Perhaps local fighters will listen to me. But those from afar can't be influenced by me. Ah! 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 
Brother, my turn. Don't rush. Let me go first. Brother, someone's up there. the weaklings of the East. That's because physically we're not strong and we're smaller. That's why we should work much harder, build up our strength to show them all that we're just as strong and healthy as they are. The Hall of Good Patients we have named our school. And that should be a reminder of why you're here. You're here to learn the martial arts, improve your physique, make us proud of you. And you're here to learn to fight only for sport. So then, I want you all to stay away from the Japanese competition. Master, Chang Tai Tak's arrived. Oh, Mr. Chang. Mr. Chang. Mr. Chang, have a seat. No, I must speak with you at once. Sure. You can have a break now. Thank you, Thank sir. You. Thank you. Uncle. Uh, let's sit down. Sure. What can I do for you? I'm very worried about the tournament. Since you asked me not to take part, I haven't even been to watch. But it makes me mad to see what's happening. Since it started, 60 of our best men are dead or wounded. I wish I could have warned everyone about it, damn it. And now all the fighters are asking me to take part. What can I do? I can't just stand back. Uncle, can't you see this is a trick? I know that, but if it doesn't work this time, the Japs will find something else, something probably worse. If only I could get rid of the three of them, at least we would all get some revenge. Uncle, I hope you'll think this over. No, I've made up my mind, and once I've decided, I stick to my plans. I've come today to ask you to be at the fight tomorrow. I'm sorry. Uncle, I won't be there then. I'm leaving town. Oh. Then ask Sam Ming and Miss Liao to come. All right. <laughs> Mr. Chang, yeah, here. Yeah. Sit over here. <laughs> Mrs. Chang, something to eat? Mm, jasmine tea, please. All right, right away. <laughs> Mr. Chang, I still hope you'll change your mind. No, I've made my decision. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> 
Miss Lau, you should have killed him. No. If I had, I wouldn't be alive now. Uncle Chang, you'd better not go up there. No. I'm going to finish off those devils. If I die up there, it will have proved one thing. We Chinese are no cowards. Uncle. I'm not your teacher. From this minute, you're no longer my student. Which one wants to fight first? his brother, Jing No Tai Lang, to kill them all. Oh, is his brother a very good fighter? Hmm. He's our number one fighter. Judo, Chendo, Karate. He's an expert. Oh. Oh. 
I was very proud of my own skills. But I didn't realize that the Japs were so skillful, especially their karate. It's just like our Chinese job, isn't it? <laughs> Uncle, you're quite right. The Jap fighters learn from our martial arts, but they adapt them to suit themselves. They have simplified them. I feel that our old established teaching methods should be revised. Miss Liao, something you two tell us to hide your... It, it's up to you now to revise it. Help the Chinese. <laughs> Uncle, Uncle! Uncle! I think we'd better go back south to see Captain Wang. Dan? In the last fight, Chiang Tai Tak was killed. Two Japs were killed and one wounded. But Tung Hai Chan hasn't come. Huh? Tung Chai has brought Chin Mo Tai Lang, hasn't he? I know that. But that guy doesn't care about fights, not interested. Only drinks and wasting our time. Huh? But he's supposed to be Japan's number one, don't you worry? <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Chin. <laughs> Please, sir. I'm afraid Tung Hai Tun won't turn up. We'd better flush him out, Dad. I have an idea. We'll kill two birds at once. Oh? What is it?
Master's gone to the fight. Yeah. 
Whatever you say. Good. Let's go.
brother. I, I, uh, <laughs> I've never seen anything so disgusting as you two. <laughs> Master, he... No. I, I was wrong. I... <laughs> Let's go now. Okay.